Hey everyone, I just had a really, really quick uh, word that I wanted to give. I had something on my heart. I wrote a little something that'll probably end up being a blog. I may read it uh, audibly. I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet, but here's a little quick something for you guys. It starts with the scripture that says in Proverbs, the fear of the Lord Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. A lot of people don't understand what that means. They reject the idea because the idea they have of the fear that's spoken of here is the type of fear the Israelites had in Exodus 20. The type of fear they had in Exodus 20, in my opinion, is what got them to die in the wilderness, honestly. Instead of hearing from God themselves and having a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God like he originally designed, they were so scared they told Moses, you just hear from God, you hear from him for us lest we die and when you tell us what he says we will listen and do what he says there's so much wrong with their thinking you see though they left egypt they were still slaves in other words people religiously hold to rules regulations laws and what's culturally accepted but the fear of the lord causes you to walk in sonship it's a one-on-one -on -one relationship with god who provides wisdom in the first place if you're too scared to surrender to him and put away your dirt, then you'll never experience the purpose to which we were created in the first place, which is to worship him in spirit and in truth. We are no longer slaves, but we are now children of God. When you are led by the spirit of God, you are essentially walking in the fear of the Lord. And therefore, having godly wisdom comes with the territory when you allow him to order your steps. If you are still striving and exhausting yourself to feel accepted by God and man, then you are not trusting God enough to rest in Him. Until you can do that, you will never experience what you were meant to experience. It's called the joy of salvation for a reason. It's not the stress of salvation. Remember that you are no longer a slave but a son and daughter. Harriet Tubman once said, I could have freed a thousand more slaves if only they knew they were slaves. It's time to trust God as Father and rest in Him. And I just say this because I've been meeting a lot of people who um, have a works mentality. And uh, this is something God's been dealing with me on, uh, personally. Um, I've, I've learned through my job. I've been blessed with a job that I didn't feel qualified for. And, and God was speaking to me about it, you know, as a, as a picture of His grace for me. Um, see, righteousness is a gift, so we can never do good enough to attain that gift that he gives us and being adopted into his kingdom, uh, being adopted to the, to the family and being called a son. It's a privilege. It's a gift. It's something we, we can do on our own. Um, through Jesus, we can enter him boldly into the throne of grace. Also, having a son... Being a father has changed my perspective on a lot of things. And God's been dealing with me a lot on this. Just simply being a son and not striving to do good enough. Y'all be blessed.